Hello, dear viewers and listeners. Welcome to TV High, the school on air program of Tagum City National High School. This is your teacher host, Ma'am Nina Capote. And today, we will continue our lesson in nail care services. A lesson in Grade 7 TLE, Quarter 1, Lesson 2. Come and join us as we continue to enhance your skills and improve your learning in your daily hashtag TLE Life Skills. So get your modules, your notebooks, and your writing pen, and be comfortably seated in the comfort of your homes. Now, let me give you your amicable teacher broadcaster, Mom Vivian Aguilar. Good day, Grade 7 students. How are you doing? Certainly, the COVID-19 pandemic has totally affected us, particularly our education system. Yet, we are so grateful that we are still able to reach and teach you the skills you need to learn in life. Are you now ready to learn something new today? Now, listen closely. At the end of this episode, you are expected to use the tools and equipment available at home and observe safety procedures of using tools and equipment. Now, can you still remember our lesson in the previous episode about the tools and equipment in the nail care services? Very good! Can you name one of them? That is right! But before we will proceed to the next lesson, let us first assess how much you have remembered the lesson discussed on our previous lesson. Now, get your ball pen and paper and answer the following questions. Are you ready? Let's start. Question number one. What hand tool is used to push back or loosen the cuticles? Is it A, nail cutter? B, nail brush? C, nail pusher? D. Acetone The answer is letter C. You are correct. Next question. What hand tool is made of metal and is used to trim fingernails and toenails? A. Nail buffer B. Nail cutter C. Nail brush or Letter D. Nail scrub The answer is letter B. Nail cutter. You got it right. The last question is, How do we call the implement with pointed and rounded ends to remove exist polish? A. Nail file. B. Emery board. C. Sterilizer. D. Orange wood stick. The correct answer is letter D. Orange wood stick. Wow, you really are great! Before we explore more about the proper use of tools and equipment in nail care services, if possible, I want you to grab available tools you have at home that your parents are using for nail care. And be careful in handling them. Make sure your parent or guardian is accompanying you at this moment while participating in our discussion. Your safety is our utmost concern. Is it clear, students? Good! Let's move on to our lesson proper. It is said that nail care, once considered as a luxury for few or as mark of distinction between the rich and the poor, it is now within the reach of the general public. In fact, a part of person's grooming and a form of inexpensive relaxation is a regular nail care activity. Be it a manicure, pedicure, hand spa, or foot spa. Have you ever tried going in a salon for a manicure or pedicure? Or having your nails done at home? If you haven't tried it yet, don't worry. Because today... We will learn the proper way of handling and holding some of the nail care tools or implements and other equipment. To start with, when doing the manicure and pedicure, we will be using a nail file. 
All you have to do is to hold the file firmly in the right or left hand, as the case may be, with the thumb underneath it support and the other four fingers on its upper surface. Place the file slightly under the free edge and file the nail from the corner to center shaping the nail. Never file back and forth because this would cause the nails to crack and split. Do not file deep into the corners because this weakens the nails, hurt the skin and cause ingrown nails. Were you able to follow the procedures? Very good! Another tool is emery board. It is held in the same manner as the nail file. Bevel the rough surface of the nail using the fine side to smoothen it. Next, we have orange wood stick. It is held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. To loosen the cuticle, work around the nail when applying oil or solvent. Slightly dip the cotton tip orange wood stick and work around the base of the nail. To clean under the free edge of the nail from the center towards each side. Apply gentle pressure to the live tissue at the end root of the nail will not be injured. Another tool here is cuticle nail pusher. Like the orange wood stick, it is held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. The dull spade side is used to push back and loosen the cuticles. You make sure that you keep cuticle moist using cuticle remover while working. Use the cuticle pusher in a flat position to remove the dead cuticle adhering to the nail without scratching the nail plate. Safety alert! In using the pusher, avoid too much pressure to prevent injury on tissues. Next is nail nipper. In using it, pick up the cuticle nipper by the handles and turn the cutting edges towards you. Place the bent tip of the index finger over the top of the shank. Then, place the thumb on the side of the handle of the remaining fingers over the opposite handle. Use it with utmost care to remove dead cuticle and hang nails so as not to injure live tissue. Okay, moving on. This is a nail cutter. Hold the clippers with cutting edges downward between thumb, index, and middle finger. Press clipper handles by squeezing them together and remove excess nail length. Another tool is nail brush. In using the nail brush, insert the ring finger and pinky in the nail brush handle and brush the nails with a downward motion from the base to the fingertips to clean the nails and fingers. And for the last tool in manicure and pedicure, we have the nail buffer. In using the nail buffer, place the thumb and the ring finger under the handle of the buffer while the index and the middle fingers are on its top and the pinky is on its side. Apply a small amount of powder over the buffer then buff the nails with downward strokes from the base to the free edge of the nail until a smooth a clear gloss has been obtained. Buffing helps in giving the nail natural gloss and increases blood circulation to the finger tips. To prevent heating and burning sensation, lift the buffer from the nail after each stroke. Have you experienced hand spa and foot spa? How do you find it? And if you don't experience it, don't worry because we will be learning the proper way of using tools and equipment Enhance spa and foot spa and do it yourself. Are you now ready? Can you still remember the use of foot file as discussed by the previous episode? Yes, it is used to remove the calluses and smoothens the feet. When using it, start with the coarse side of the foot file. Gently slide it back and forth across the ball of your foot and the bottom of the toes. 
Still, with the rough side of the file work mostly on the outside rim of the heel. Then, flip the file over and repeat the process with each foot to achieve smooth and shiny skin. How about the calcis remover? What is its difference with the foot file? Yes, calcis remover is for stripping out the calcis on feet. This must be used if a thick calluses are present on the feet. When using the foot file, insert the blade into the callus remover with care. Then lay the callus remover on the top thick part of the callus. Be careful not to lay the blade above the area that is going to be cut, as this may result in cutting the soft part of the foot, resulting to open wound. Applying light pressure with steady hand on callus remover, gently glide it over the callus. Repeat the process if necessary until the callus is thinner. Smoothen the callus with a foot file. Moving on to the use of the pumistone. After soaking the feet in a warm soapy water, use the pumistone to gently buff away cracked or dry skin of the feet in a soft, circular motion. Note, never apply heavy pressure to the pumice for this can cause sores, open wounds, and possible infection. And lastly, let's move on to the proper use of hand and foot spa machine. In using this machine, make sure that electrical wirings are dry and protected from accidental water spillage. Set the machine to the temperature that the client can withstand. Now that we are done with our discussion, I hope you had a great time learning and doing the proper way of using the tools and equipment in nail care services as well as the hand and foot spa. Remember that learning to use the tools and equipment properly will give your client safe and satisfying services. Now that you are acquainted with the proper use of tools and equipment in nail care servicing, let us have an activity entitled Hold Me. Using some nail care tools available at your home, perform the proper way of holding and using the following tools. Ask any family member or a friend to be your client or a model. Follow these procedures. Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay. Using the nail file, Hold the file firmly in the right or left hand, as the case may be. Then, the thumb underneath it for support and the other four fingers on its upper surface. Place the file slightly under the free edge and file the nail from corner to center. Then, continue shaping the nail. The next is emery board. It is held in the same manner as the nail file. Bevel the rough surface of the nail using the fine side to smoothen the skin. The next is orange wood stick. It is held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. To loosen cuticle, work around nail. When applying oil or solvent, slightly dip the cotton tip orange wood stick and work around the base of the nail. Another is cuticle nail pusher. It is held in the same manner as in writing with a pencil. The dull spade side is used to push back and loosen the cuticles. Keep the cuticle moist using cuticle remover while working. Next is cuticle nipper. Pick up the cuticle nipper by the handles and turn the cutting edges towards you. Place the bent tip of the index finger over the top of the shank. Then. Place the thumb on the side of the handle and remaining fingers over the opposite handle. Lastly is nail clippers. Hold the clippers with cutting edges downward between the thumb, index, and the middle finger. Press clipper handles by squeezing them together and remove excess nail length. You will be rated based on the following criteria. First, Follow the proper procedures. Second, complete the steps following the correct sequence. Third, observe safety precautions at all times. Fourth, 
finish your work on time. You did a good job, students. This time, let us loosen up and answer these questions. Grab your ball pen and paper and answer the following questions. Write to nail if the statement is correct. And fingernail if the statement is false. Ready? Here we go. Number one. The dull spade side of a cuticle nipper is used to push back and loosen the cuticles. Number two. Safety is the topmost priority in giving nail care services. Number three. Insert the ring finger and pinky in the nail brush handle and brush the nails with an upward motion from the base to the fingertips to clean the nails and fingers. Number four, press the clipper handles by squeezing them together and remove excess nail length. Number five, pick up the cuticle nail pusher by the handles and turn the cutting edges towards you. Place the bent tip of the index finger over the top of the shank. And now, for your hashtag TLE Life Skills assignment, choose only one from the following tasks that you love most. Number one, draw at least five tools and three equipments, then write its name and use. Number two, Make a poem out of the use of tools and equipment. Well and good, dear students. I hope that you have learned an interesting lesson from our discussion today. And most importantly, I hope you are having fun too. Till next time, goodbye! That was great. Thank you, Mom Vivian. I hope you can now practice nail care services at home. Thank you, students, viewers, and listeners for tuning in. Hope you learned something today. Stay tuned for more hashtag TLE Life Skills Journey. This is your teacher host, Ma'am Nina Capote. Makisabay, matuto, maglakbay dito sa TV High. Keep safe, everyone, and have a great day ahead. Goodbye!